Hello out there, Nat Richards here from Text on the Move with a short video that I'm hoping will be a useful little, um, a little recapturing of the live session that uh, Gavin and I did here in this very office at the start of the month. I've been a little slack in putting this together, so apologies for the delay, but hopefully this will refresh uh, the memory of those who watched that video around uh, some of the topics that were covered, set up where we're going in the future, and uh, maybe even drag a few more people in uh, to, to really get the highlights from that, li that long live session, because it went for uh, much longer than we anticipated, and I'm sure a lot of you don't have the time to sit through 50 minutes of Gavin and I waffling. Um, first up, likes uh, for the, um, uh, the session we did and the comments that came, uh, you know, the questions that were asked really overwhelmed us. We really weren't expecting that. So for those that participated, thank you so much for all of that support. Uh, if you could please like and comment on this video as well, that's the best way that we have of, uh, of spreading the net a little wider to capture other people uh, who work in automotive or around automotive and are interested in making it here to Australia. So you'd be doing all of us a favor that way. Uh, again, thank you for your support there. Um, tagging friends also, of course, is fantastic if you can, uh, can get in on that, if you've got some buddies that uh, you think could use our help as well. And there is another live session coming shortly, so details will be announced uh, on Facebook uh, in the, the next few days, uh, but I will be scheduling one very soon. It's going to be a little more focused than the, the last one and hopefully just a little shorter. Uh, we'll be uh, specifically talking about our, our consultation process, so hopefully uh, demystifying some of that for you, but we'll also, of course, be answering as many questions as you like and, uh, and we'll be inviting as many comments as I can find. Um, so first up, highlights uh, from the, the last session. Uh, as I said, the reward for getting up so early, uh, my time here in Australia was fantastic. I was expecting uh, to be chatting away with Gavin and, uh, and interacting with no one in particular, but the amount of support we got was fairly overwhelming and uh, the diversity of questions we've got was great. Uh, really didn't see that coming. Um, probably the most important thing for us was the chance for engagement. So uh, for, for me as the, the, the chief consultant here, uh, talking to technicians from all over the world, uh, honestly, the, the most fun I have in my job is actually getting to meet uh, everyone on a really regular basis and getting to know what they're all about and what they're looking for in this process. Uh, so to be able to take that over a wider scale in a, in a really focused sense was, was really, really inspiring. I love that and can't wait to do it again. Now, five most broadly applicable questions, and yes, I am working uh, off some notes here because I'm not that good for memory. Five uh, most broadly applicable questions that I hope will sort of summarize some of the best bits of uh, that live session that we did and, uh, and be useful uh, for a new audience. Stephen Hagen, who actually asked quite a few questions, he was, uh, he was really, really helpful for us. So thanks, Stephen, if you're watching. Uh, who's the most desirable text? Great question, and one that we get all the time. Uh, the short answer is all of you. Uh, if you've got experience in automotive, uh, no matter whether you're uh, working as a, a motor mechanic or within a, a different part of the trade, uh, like uh, say panel beating or, or even spray painting, uh, at the end of the day, uh, we need plenty of technicians across those different disciplines and from all types of different manufacturer uh, experience as well. So whether it be European train techs or, or those with experience in Japanese or Korean uh, vehicles, uh, ultimately, I'd love to hear from all of you because Australia overall is dying for good technicians. So uh, don't be shy, uh, hit me up, whether it be uh, through Facebook, uh, email, and of course, inquiry through our website, um, yeah, don't hold back. Uh, Addy Jackson, uh, great question here. Do you deal with HGV techs? Uh, yes, we do, and frankly, not enough. Uh, so HGV or uh, heavy goods vehicle uh, technicians, something that we're in dire need of here in Australia. It's a very, very big industry, uh, of course, in this big country where we've got lots of distances to cover. And uh, ultimately, I'd say, you know, sort of per capita, there's probably more demand for HGV than there is for passenger car right now. It's just not as big of a market overall, so we don't hear quite as much about it. So that should be confidence inspiring for anyone that does have a background in, in HGV, truck, bus, whatever you've got. Uh, yes, absolutely. Uh, getting jobs and sponsorship opportunities for you with that sort of experience is often quite easy actually and uh, you've probably got lots of options available to you. So again, we'd love to hear from you. Uh, there's no such thing as a bad question around HGV. Uh, Mark Tull, uh, he actually fired off a couple of beauties so I'm going to give him a double billing here. Uh, do retailers support manufacturer training in Australia? Yes, absolutely. So very similarly to what you've probably experienced in your home market, uh, Aussie retailers down here are all about their manufacturer training and a lot of it is done locally uh, here, whether it be through the uh, manufacturers making their way out to their retailers or uh, technicians taking the chance to travel uh, back to head office, which is often in Melbourne. 
So uh, manufacturer training, very important uh, to Aussies. Uh, the simple fact of the matter is we have nowhere near enough technicians to cover our, our basic needs here. And uh, th for that reason alone, uh, the retailer has got a, a really strong vested interest in getting that training into their technicians as much as they can uh, to make sure they can cover their bases. Um, what's the average cost of coming to Australia is something Mark also asked. Now, this is a very, very difficult question for me to answer uh, briefly. It, it is uh, not the sort of thing I have a silver bullet for. This is why we do consultation. So uh, it may seem like we're always trying to funnel you into talking to us. Uh, we don't mean to do that, but the truth of the matter is everyone's circumstances are different. People are coming from a diverse background uh, with plenty of different experiences needs, desires, dreams, um, it's very, very difficult for me to uh, you know, summarize all of that and give you a scope. Uh, it, it would be quite useless. So you know, honestly, uh, please contact us. Uh, even if it's just a shout out on, um, on Facebook, we will absolutely answer and I'll try to get as specific as I can. Uh, it comes down to a case by case basis. Uh, last question was Tyrone Cardwell, similar question here in some ways. How do I get more info about jobs? So again, there's plenty of useful information on our website about this and we try to post as much of it on Facebook as we can. But ultimately info about jobs is hard because we don't really work with a select range of job opportunities that are kind of on offer right now. Instead, we're much more interested in actually taking the time to get to know you a little bit through those consultation processes and saying, well, if you're a Volkswagen uh, service technician with seven years of experience and you're looking for a sponsorship opportunity and you'd like to go to Melbourne for the sake of the argument. In all reality, there's probably quite a few Volkswagen dealers uh, in Melbourne and maybe even more opportunities outside of that within other brands or even just within the VAG group where you could definitely you know, look into that. Uh, we, could, um, we could seek out a few different opportunities for you. So we'd much rather, instead of saying, well, there's one Volkswagen dealer who's looking for this type of person in Melbourne right now, and we can see that job online, I'd much rather say, well, where do you wanna work? What works best for you? What are you most interested in? What does your career from here look like in its best case scenario? And then which dealer is gonna suit you the best? So instead of finding any opportunity, we'd like to find you the best opportunity. That's one of the key reasons why Tech's on the Move is definitely worth your time. So that's my five questions all covered off. Uh, I hope some of that was helpful. And uh, more importantly, I, I sincerely hope to see a lot of you again uh, for the next live session coming up shortly. Keep an eye out for it. Cheers.